I am the daughter of Chief Mrs. HM, the founder of the DUB of Canaan. Okay. Uh, today you are here celebrating uh, the 10th anniversary of the yes. DUB. Can you just tell us about your experience? Yes, so I've seen firsthand from 2013 my mom's hard work and collaboration with the community in order to kind of continue to preserve the culture, the tradition, and history of ethnic poor and equipped people across across the globe really and I think during you know in these times social media is a way for us to connect across the globe and a way for the diaspora to connect across the globe and that's what my mum has strived to do and I, I'd like to think she's done it very well um, she left for London over 30 years ago and has been able to preserve the ethnic culture within how she's raised me also so I think this has been a fantastic opportunity to showcase the group because it takes a village yes my mom founded the group but it takes the hard work of the, the group and the members and the, and the leaders of the group so it's been a fantastic day I'm very proud of my mom on a personal level because she's my mom but also because she's a leader and it's nice to see that there are people still wanting to share with our generation and preserve the history and culture in Kalawa. Okay, do you um, envisage pursuing this uh, vision uh, further? Sorry, say I said, do you envisage pursuing this vision further? Um, giving your... Absolutely. I think history, if you don't know where you've come from, you don't know where you're going. Um, and that's been the motto in our household. So I think as much as you strive for personal goals, be it career, corporate, you must also want to give back to the generation on a cultural level, on a historical level, and um, to make sure that, you know, all those that came before you are honoured and acknowledged. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your hair is fine. How do you get, what's inspiration behind your hair? Mm. Um, the inspiration is, my mum used to thread my hair as a young ethic girl. So we wanted to recreate that and we recreated that here in Calabar. Somebody did it here for me in Calabar. So it's just a testament to, again, the collaboration and just I'm home. And I did something at home, in, you know, on an adult level and threaded my hair. And it's just exciting to just be here and represent ethic culture. Did the natural hair. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so going back to London, um, what will be your takeaway? Um, I think the takeaway is that, you know, Calabar, so often you don't hear about our story because there are bigger populations of groups outside in terms of the Nigerian identity. And I think it's important, no matter how, in comparison to other groups, we may be smaller, but we are also very mighty in our own right. And I think it's important that we're able to continue to have the conversations, to continue to talk to our friends, our family, and raise the flag for this beautiful city and this beautiful state. Um, we're here, we're continuing to be here, and we are also part of that Nigerian narrative. Thank you. Thank you.